I'm getting this one. <laughs> Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to our very last episode of season two, our season finale of Side Eye Chats. 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 Mm -hmm. So make sure you hit the share button because how much do it cost, Angie? Free ninety nine. It's free. I didn't even introduce myself because I know we might have new people tonight. I'm Shauna and this is Angie. Hello. And if you are not following us, please make sure you follow us on all of our platforms: YouTube, Instagram, X, Facebook, of course, TikTok, and TikTok. We're not really active on TikTok, but and TikTok. Um, so guys, this is the last episode for season two. Season three will start back in September, mid-September. And Virgo season. Virgo season. And we are going to be streaming live from an exclusive location. Ooh. Exclusive location. So um mark your calendars. We will be out and about. Yeah. You ready? Yes, I am ready. And May, if you want, I called your name, girl. Report to Report this live. Report to the live, May. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with tonight's show. Make sure, like I said, you hit the share button so everybody can see this final show. We're going to start with our side eye of the week. Ooh, child. Side, side eye right. of the week goes to... <sighs> side of the week goes to a man by the name of... What is his name? Kenneth King? An idiot. An idiot. Mm. So what did Kenneth do? What did Kenneth do? Tell the people what Kenneth did. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to put Six the picture three. up too. Look at you. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> nah, you don't know how you're doing. What you doing? I know what I'm, I'm doing, doing, baby. Well, why it ain't up there? Hold on, I got Where's this. Kenneth? I got this. Nope. Oh, duh, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got know. this. Okay, okay. So was, <laughs> Kenneth is a judge in Detroit. And... Some kids came to his courtroom on a field trip. So one of the students kept falling asleep during his trial uh, or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming it was sending on trial. But he interrupted court to basically scald the girl because he had said something about her falling asleep and she fell asleep a second time. So his solution to that was to put the girl in cuffs, put her in a, a jumpsuit, a jail jumpsuit, and also threatened to lock her up in juvie for the night um, to push his authority and teach her a lesson. Wow. Right. Literally. So he never asked what was the reason, why the girl could have been tired, anything. He just jumped to the conclusion that, oh, you've been disrespectful, so I'm going to teach you a lesson. Well, come to find out, the girl's mom spoke up and said that the reason that the child was sleepy is because they currently do not have housing. They're homeless. They don't have permanent housing. So the child was just tired. So he could have easily so taught her a lesson <clears throat> by finding out why she was sleeping instead of automatically assuming, oh, it's a sign of disrespect that she's sleeping. You should have already been wondering why would a teenager be sleeping in the middle of the day? But I don't understand like him teaching her a lesson because how is putting her in handcuffs and putting her in a jail like suit teaching her a lesson for sleeping? Like, you don't go to jail for sleeping. Right. So why would you do that? Why would you make a mockery out of her um, for that? Like, that's just the, the, it doesn't make sense. Like, he just mm, humiliated her at the end of the he day. He humiliated her for no reason because he had power and he had authority to do so. Right. And I feel like that is dead wrong because why would you do that? And then when you hear the background of why, it just makes it even a more sad case. Like, because right. why, like. I don't know. Kids go through a lot of things. I know that because I do teach high school and I know I'm very cautious when I am speaking to my kids because I know they're, mm -hmm. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know their background. Like today, I had about 10 kids ask me for a notebook. I told them to have their spiral notebooks by today. Yeah. And instead of me saying, why you don't got a notebook? Why? There's plenty of reasons why they might not have a notebook. I like gave them a note notebook. Yeah, because y'all have. I have notebooks. Well, supplies to begin with. I have supplies because a lot of people did donate to my Amazon list, and then I have some supplies that I actually picked up. <laughs> I had to throw that out there. So I did have those supplies. So instead of me like just yelling at the kid and being like, "Why you don't have no notebook? You should have had your notebook. I told you to have your notebook. Yeah. I just gave them a notebook. Right. Because like you don't know someone's they, situation. Notebooks are seventy nine cents, so it's not a big deal. It's not. And at the end of the day, it's a notebook. 
But I don't know. I just feel like he's dead wrong. He's definitely mm -hmm. getting a, the side eye of the week. Well, I gave him the and side eye. he has been temporarily removed, right? As he should be. He, he should, should be, be questioning he should be. His, his, his judgment. His, his judgment because <laughs> he might be throwing his weight around with in situations cases. where, it, yeah, with cases that it shouldn't Imagine be. Imagine he just threw his weight around like that simple before. scenario. Imagine how many times he's done that and nobody really caught it. Right. Or it wasn't brought to the forefront because. It was criminals or supposed criminals, or whatever, because you know you're innocent until proven guilty. Allegedly, Allegedly. Joey said ignorant. I agree. Ignorant. And Johnny said, "I wonder what his home life is like." Me too. Uh, exactly. He probably that is. It's just a sad situation. No. And then I did see a picture of the little girl, and she's just a regular, normal little teenage girl. Mm -hmm. I think the picture that we saw, she was holding up an award or something that yeah. she had gotten. I hope her mom. Can like pursue a lawyer or do something about it because that's one humiliating her you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't like it i just don't like it when people use their authority or their power right to control the situation and to give someone a punishment for something they couldn't really control she's sleepy because she I'm had no way to jail, baby because i'm being a team meeting slump you say you're being team <laughs> what slump girl yes I used to walk I'm in. Tell your boss. You can say <laughs> not now. Oh, I, I back then. On, um, back then. Not now. Now oh, okay. I'm on Zoom and you can't see me. So, she so if I am slump, you won't know. But <laughs> uh, when I was, um, when I first started working at this, um, at this, I was working at the call center. And the trainer, when he would bring us in for training, he was like, Andy, let me hurry up and give you this information so you can get out of here. <laughs> exactly. I'm not he already I pick up fast. Tell me what I need. I don't need a meeting. Just tell me what I need to do. Right. So, if you don't want me to fall asleep in your house, you better hurry up and make it quick. All right. So, what do you guys think? Okay. Joey did say he's ignorant. Ignant. My bad. <laughs> ignant is a difference, huh? Yeah. And, um, Absolutely. Yeah. Johnny said he wonders what the home life is like. I don't like. know where she was when I read that, y'all. Where who was? I know. I was here. But <laughs> my phone. Let me get back to the live because my phone just like. Your phone? Oh. Oh, yeah. Up. yeah. Okay. We're moving on. Moving on. And she's gonna move us to our next topic. Mm. Now this. <laughs> no, she not. <laughs> and she's gonna move us to our next topic. Next season, y'all gonna see me use the switcher. Okay? Next season, she says she's going to oh, use me. switcher. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Yeah. See. But anyways, mm -hmm. she oh, need to yeah, learn. Yeah. She need switcher. to learn. She need to learn. She's gonna be um running switcher next season because I'm gonna sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. And relieve my mind. Mm -hmm. If you're just now joining us, welcome to the show. We are going to move to our next topic. Next topic. Next topic. What are your thoughts on parents that kick their children out as soon as they hit 18? Ignant. Ignant. Because why are you kicking <laughs> the babies out? Sometimes there's a reason, though. Because I think I posted this a while back. Did I? Yeah. Somebody said, um... These kids are too grown. That's what they said. The kids are too grown or something like that. But that's where you have to, like, step in and guide them. They don't think they're grown mm -hmm. or think they know everything or think they can just do whatever it is they want to do and they are going to be okay. But they really don't know. They really need guidance. You really need to put your foot down and give them guidance. And I can understand that some kids can be out of hand. Right. Because um, I've dealt with some. But... I just don't agree with the whole notion of kicking them out at 18 because they're turning 18. And right. I've heard that so many times because mm -hmm. I do teach all seniors. Yeah. And it's like my parents say, as soon as I turn 18, I got to get out. Like I've seen seniors struggling to work and maintain an apartment. That's crazy. That's that crazy. I literally had a student <laughs> a few years back who actually was homeless because she got kicked out. And then she eventually, by the end of the year, ended up getting, after we getting some, her some help, mm -hmm. ended up getting her own apartment. But literally, she was working every single day, all weekend, just to a pay. Job. Yes, just to pay her bills. And I just felt so bad because, like, oh, why? Man. Yeah. I mean, I understand some kids might be out of hand. But I know some people personally who parents was just like, okay, like she said, once you get 18, you got to get out. You got to go. I don't know where you're going. No, you get out let me, of here. no, let me just like, just say this. I do agree with giving them like, uh, like you got to be going to school, go to the mm -hmm. military. You're not going to just sit up at home though. And just like, you know what I mean? Suck up AC and suck up food. You mm -hmm. have to do something. Have a plan. 
So if you're going to go to college, because everybody don't go to college, are you going to go to community college? Are you going to go to a university? If you're going to community college, you're going to stay at home. Establish some like rules and some boundaries or some right. guidelines mm -hmm. before you just like throwing them out to the wolves. Right. Because a lot of times I think people in our culture literally throw the, you know, throw their kids out to the wolves. I think it's, I don't I like think it. it's, it's already hybrid. also parents who do that. They already have <clears throat> rocky relationships or they, they clash with their children a lot as well. So I think it's also underlying issues that they need to try to deal with and not just be like, I can't wait to get 18 so you can get out of here. Yeah, but you know parents say that though. That's the thing. Like I, kids have literally told me their parents have said, I can't wait to get 18 so you can get out of my house. Weird. Like why? Because those kids did not ask to be here. They did not ask to be here. Take care of your babies. Let me Let's see. We got comments. So we're going to read some of the comments. Lante Ross said, hey, y'all lit. Hey. Hey, Lante. Lante. Yeah. Okay, Joy said, kids turn 18 and think they don't have to follow house rules. No more. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Okay, so that's, okay. okay so, so yeah. you got to set, I feel like you got to set the ground rules. Now, if you set rules and then they keep being disrespectful, breaking your rules and on that I'm grown mentality, that's a whole different situation mm -hmm. than when you get 18, you got to get up out of my house, you got to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know how some people, yeah. some parents are like, I don't want you coming into my house all times of night. Right, and, and there ain't nothing wrong with that because your, that's your parents' house. If you want to come in, in and out, anytime, and do what you want to do, guess what? You got to get your own sure. place. Um, let me see. Uh, Lante said that you are the hero of Pine Hill. Oh my God. <laughs> Johnny said if the kids are so bad at 18 uh, that you have to kick them out, then that's poor parenting. At the end of the day, some literally, of some of it is, though. Because uh, you lost track somewhere. I don't necessarily. You know, I, I can't necessarily say that is bad parenting because I have seen some children with ex awesome parents that get caught up in the street life. Oh, that's and true. And the parents have no control over. And them. they've done everything they so could. So yeah. I, I can't automatically say if a child turned out a certain way that is due to bad parenting because I've seen children go have everything in place to be successful mm -hmm. but they choose a different path and you can't put that on the parents because right. the parents did everything that and they, they were supposed to do on their end the, the child dropped the ball that's true so then um Let's lante see. said no i suggest and get suggest getting student business grants uh dante gardner said let them stay as long as they got a plan i agree I you definitely gotta, agree with that. If they plan. have a plan and you've already mapped it out and y'all talked about it, then what's wrong with letting them stay? Because at the end of the day, you still got to pay your bills. Right. <laughs> and I, one thing I can say is I moved from my mom's house into my own house. I was not in a rush to go get, get your apartment own apartment and spend like all that, that money. Because what I'm leaving for, there's no reason to. Okay. And my mom has never told any of her kids, not, not one out of ten, that you, you gotta get out. You gotta go. Mm -mm. All right. Um, Lante said, I say some black kids don't know nothing about business. I think that should be in schools. Uh, economy, economics should be in every class. Agreed. Oh, okay. Definitely agree because there's a lot of things that kids can learn from that. So, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, kids should be able to say, especially given how bad the economy is. Johnny said that. And that Whoa. is crazy. That 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 is that bad. I remember when I had my apartment, when I first got my first apartment, I remember paying like six hundred some dollars for rent for like a two bedroom. I never had an apartment, but my first house, That's... my mortgage was nine hundred and eighty and now, dollars. A one bedroom <laughs> is like eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, and that was a four bedroom house, mm. in a decent neighborhood, huge backyard, huge front yard in a cold set, and I was paying nine hundred and eighty dollars. Um. Um, there's failing in life and there's having terrible behavior that requires you to kick them out of your home. Johnny said that. And that's true. Um, Joy said as long as they, they pl the plan ain't to stay there for 10 years, LOL. And what if it is? What if it is? What if it is? Mm -hmm. Hey, Takara. Hey. What? Oh, I don't see nothing. Oh, I do. She just she said no. Oh. <laughs> Um, dang, I touched it and all the comments went away. Oh, there oh, we go. Lante nice. said, a teacher, a teacher should teach kids about LLCs and business, a small business of their own. 
I do agree that that should be taught in school because a lot of kids are not knowledgeable about, you know, starting their own business or be, going into entrepreneurship. <clears throat> so, yeah, that should be taught. I can't. Okay, so I'm going to say this. When I was in high school, we had an excellent economics teacher. Shout out to Miss McFerrin. Fatty. <laughs> um, Miss McFerrin. Whatever. Y'all know them twins. If you went over it, you know what I'm talking about. She was bomb. She, we did this project where we had to pick a, a job with a salary and we had mm -hmm. to find an apartment. We had to do all this stuff. And she would give us a weekly um, paper with information. Now, you had to pay attention to the information because based on the information, that's going to determine what might happen to you next week. Gotcha. Like, for example, it might be a cheap car on sale, a red Honda. But there's also in the story of the paper that say, hey, they breaking into red, red people Honda. stealing red Honda. So next week you don't bought the car because you didn't read the whole paper and now your car got stolen. So we had a whole project around basically That's good. like building and she real life scenarios. About, real life scenarios. That's good. She was telling us about credit and how important it is. Like she was really good on on that. Hey Oscar Inferno. Hey girl. All right, um, I go to community college of Denver for cannabis business. Okay. Okay, I mean, okay. All right. Hey. Hey, sis. That's my sister. Hello, ladies. Uh, Hello. Arthur what said. It? That's my sister. Yeah. I don't even see Arthur coming. Oh, yeah. Kids can't be your friends. You have to draw the line and set the ground rules. Actually, set them up for success. Arthur, that is a good comment. Okay. And Arthur has already set his kids up for success. They got their own business. Okay, and they're a little. What what's the business that they have? They sell stuff on Amazon. They have their own Amazon shop. Oscar, why are you trying to figure out what cup? This cup? What's Water. Cup? Um, yes, it's a four four year bachelor's degree. Okay, Lorde. What's in the cup? I don't know what's I in say the eighteen cup. is not a kid anymore. Oh okay, um, it is and it isn't because literally I they're was 18 just, in high school, so I'm not like, a kid because I'm 18. 18. I was going to say, literally, they're just now coming into adulthood. I have some 17 and some 18-year-olds now, and I consider them all kids because they're yeah, still they're not still knowledgeable. Kids. Like, they don't know a lot. But their frontal lobe is still not developed. Yeah, they so they're, I feel like they're still considered kids, even though legally they're adults. But mentality-wise, they don't know enough. They don't know a lot right now. My son, 19, in a sophomore in college, and he's still a kid. They're, yeah, they're still kids. It's like, mom, it's blah, 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 mom, blah, blah. It's still He kid. got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap up the topic. The brain don't finish developing until 25. Right, Correct. So, literally. Um, <clears throat> we're going to wrap up the topic. Um, so, yeah. My final thoughts on this topic. Parents should not kick their kids out at 18. Because what you kicking them out for? I agree. If the economy is too bad to have some kids that the only best they can do is let me tag. Job. Let me tag Donald Trump and see what he think. He gonna tell him to go get a black job. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> get a black job and pay your own bills. Y'all should I tag him? Okay. You okay. <laughs> need to get a black job. <laughs> get a black job and pay. And your don't own pay bills. your own bills. That's too funny. I cannot. Um. Last comment. The they both oh they both have Amazon businesses businesses okay. and make twenty seven hundred a month. I teach them how to invest and how to accept wins and losses. Okay. See, I'm waiting on Arthur to put me on so I can start my own Amazon business. No, Angie, Arthur need to put us on right. Yeah, put me on. Shoot, <laughs> I'm looking for some extra income. <laughs> Lante said, depends how an 18-year-old pockets not all teenagers nowadays are rich off TikTok. Some of them are, though. Yeah. Most kids are getting paid off social media posts, though, like Travis Hunter. Yeah. Not all kids is doing Travis some, Hunter. I was going to say, some like, kids are, some kids <laughs> aren't. Yes, social media is big and people are making money off of it. Some kids have blown up, yes, but they're still, they're still considered kids. They still don't know enough or know a lot. Right. Haven't been around that long. Um, May said, don't kick them out. Definitely give them some kind of responsibility. Definitely. You can't just be sitting around being alone. You got to do something. Something. But I'm not kicking my kids out. Me either. That's just me. That's just that's me. me. Why? Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. If you're just joining us, welcome to the show. We are moving on to our next topic. Yeah. Um, oh, that's not one. Is this the topic? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a side <laughs> Oh, well. That's the topic. I guess that's the topic. That's the topic. I didn't know that okay. was the topic. Okay, next topic. 
Can you be happy without sex? Patrick said my kids got access to my house as long as I got breath in my lungs, even if I don't like them. Period, Patrick. Period. Let me like that, because that's what's up. Hey. So my siblings still live in my oh, house right now. I can't, um, I can't like. Why well, Lante laughing? Because I was like, is that a topic? <laughs> is it a topic? It's one now. What do y'all think? Can you be happy without sex? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You knew I was gonna say yeah. I mean, if you ain't getting up, <laughs> you can be happy. Oh, happy day. oh, happy day! Of course you can. I think you really can. Okay, from personal so, experience. Okay, <laughs> I guess I I guess I should have reword. I should have worded that differently. All right, let's go. Where we go? Can you be no, no in sense. a relationship and be happy without sex? We're gonna change it. I mean, see. Yeah, I, I can change it. So can you be No in a, sex is definitely childish. Uh, <laughs> can you be in a relationship? You said in a relationship. Can you be in a relationship <laughs> and be happy without sex? Oh wait, let me change my answer. <laughs> so I saw um so Tanya, I saw you said yes. So tell me what's your take on Well maybe she said yes to the previous be, question. Let me put it back there. Alright, so we're gonna change it. Can you be in a relationship and be happy without sex? Oh, now I'm changing my answer. <laughs> what is, what's your answer? Because if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to want like to be intimate with my partner. Mm, but what if something happens? If something happens, like what? Can you, <laughs> like, okay, say they get paralyzed from the waist down and it don't work no more. Can you something, still be happy? I can be happy because something else going to have to work. Waist oh. down, something else work. <laughs> oh, okay. What well, that mom do be? I don't know. You want to get out of that? So that's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So, Lance said, if you're in a committed relationship, I suggest it should um meant to be. Is meant to be? What? Johnny said no. I, I already knew Johnny was going to say no. Um, Sadly <laughs> said, it depends on if they follow my house rules or not. If they're not going to say, oh, that's, oh, that's the other topic. topic. Okay. <laughs> if you're not in a relationship, then no. A friendship? A friendship? Sure. sure. Joey, Joey. A friendship? Of course. Of course, Joey. Lante said, I've been single, but I am a single father of three kids, so I don't know. Who said that? Uh, Lante. Oh. You have three said, kids? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, why did you say? Because you used to, I used to, used to go to school. You said uh, <laughs> Baby, this your 20th year, so people, a lot of your students got children. <laughs> Uh, Tanya said not in a relationship. Okay, so you said yes to the previous question. That was me, but not in a relationship. I'm with you, Tanya. No sex, then we just homies. Arthur said nope. that's diabolical. <laughs> what Lante said. Honestly, I wasn't happy in my last relationship. We was going to be married. We didn't have sex, but the bills were paid. What? Why wouldn't y'all have sex? Y'all don't like each other? Y'all want to try this to each other? Why wouldn't y'all have sex? Would y'all have sex before y'all got engaged? I need to understand. Come on, help us out, Lante. Yeah, help us understand. How you knew? Well, how she knew what your answer was going to be? Just based off your previous responses yeah. and other shows. We almost definitely know what your response gonna be, Johnny. Johnny, we like, know, we know, we got you over here. We just say we know you, Johnny, we a little know. bit just we from know. your inter interaction. Lante say he twenty six, ma. Feels that's been a long time. Yeah, girl. Lante say he dated a woman that was forty two. <laughs> what? Oh, she was cool. Man. That's funny. Cougar. Wait, is that one that um that y'all want having sex? Time Tanya said it right. Time said right because if not me, then who? Because who? <laughs> like for right. real? Who you who? With, boy? She said she was attracted to a white man. She was from Houston. Oh. So that's why y'all went sleeping together. Oh, she probably had well, a, little, she, she, so she a white black. meat on the side. She was black. She like pink meat. Who said she was black? I'm asking what she oh. was. Why she date? Why would you date somebody? Did that you said know it? that before y'all started dating? And did you have the three kids with her? We all in your business. We're Lante. like, Lante, we, we got your, questions, Lante. We in your business right we now. We got questions. We need to understand why you was with this 42-year-old lady who was attracted to white men. I'm talking about some lies. It, 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 it be giving fetish when it's people giving, say, it's oh, I'm attracted to like white. Like, I guess that's what she like. I don't know. I, 
I mean, people are entitled to like what they like. I mean, they but are. if you like what you like, you don't like date what you, what you don't like. Okay. Yeah, why, right? why are you dating? Like, why? Why are you dating a black man if you are? Dante not black, man? black, is he? Oh, I don't I know. I think he's Spanish. Girl, he might, what a name actually, like Monte, He might be Monte. black and is Spanish. Did Monte, Monte, are you Monte Spanish? Monte was anything except black with a name I think Monte. He, his name is really not Lante. It's the Lante. That's a black Even name. blacker. <laughs> the, Even <laughs> blacker. What's up? You sound like Trump. Girl, you know about, what a black that's name a black is. name. Ma'am, you <laughs> teach your evidence. You know what a black name is, okay? Oh, okay? my God. You know what a black name is. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his own show. Need own show. Monte, we need you on the Monte. live. Yes. Because we got Monte questions. Got a lot. We need to interview oh. you. Like, literally. Oh, she. he said she was black. She was my baby She mama. wasn't his baby mama, but they were engaged. And she dark skinned. See? Oh, you like your little chocolate? <sighs> he told me, um, I am black. He is Mixed. black. He meant. <laughs> my bad. The whole time I thought you were Lante. Spanish. <laughs> Lante, don't worry. I got you. I knew. I should have known. Knew. He got a whole black name. Even his, his last Lante. name black. My bad. My the bad. man named Lante. My bad. <laughs> she was married and never told you. Was she not told white man? She was married and never told you. I'm this is you, real good. You so betray betrayed. Lante, we need to get you on the show because this is a whole segment wow. in itself. Literally, who the fuck was I engaged to? Yeah. Boy, you could go on viral. Go viral. <laughs> Literally. So I think the consist cons consensus, consensus is that no, you cannot be happy in a relationship without sex. Mm -hmm. You better like Sean said. If it ain't working, you better figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. Something, I don't know what you need to do. Something's got to give. But you something's need to figure it out. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. She was married. Never told me. Oh, we read that. All right, moving on. Final thoughts. She already did. When I found out, she cashed out me eight hundred dollars. What? That was hush money. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> she should have gave you more than that. that. She should have used the eight hundred to get a divorce. She was a sugar mama. How did you find out? Oh my God! Still another show. Let me stop asking these questions. And I'm curious. Nicole right said maybe when you're seventy five. Yeah, girl. <laughs> but then again, go over to the villages, and I bet you them seventy five year olds over there said you a damn lie. They were saying let's get okay. They over there with their loopers on their golf carts <laughs> right now, letting you know how they like you, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about. I think I want to move to the villages when I retire. Oh, like you want to be out there at seventy five getting it on? I w I don't need to be out there. It's a nice. It's a nice and quiet. Space. Not that I've been. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving on. Are we saying no? No, because this is this no. <laughs> if you're just joining us, welcome to our season finale of Side Eye Chats. Season three will start in mid September and we will be streaming from an exclusive location, which we'll tell you. We should give hints up until the show, like where we're going to. Um, Same film. sun, bikini. Good weather, good food. Yeah, those That's are your hints. hints. Right those on. are your hints. Four hints. Figure it out. All right, so um, <laughs> she said, Touche, the villages stay busy. Stay busy. <laughs> How you know? <laughs> what are we doing? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, so the, our next topic for the night is why do some people think being the side piece is appealing? Side pieces, stand up and let us side know. Side pieces. Stand up, men too. This is a no judgment zone, by the way. So no we're not judging you if you are a side piece, have been a side piece. What if they don't you know? didn't know there was a side piece, but was a side piece and found out there was a side piece? Well, you can't. I mean, Fall you really can't be a side piece if you didn't know you were a side piece. Know there was side That's piece. true. But some people be side I feel piece. like some people think it's appealing, though, like because they post about it. You know what I mean? Oh, this is my side. I'm the side. Or oh, this is my side. Ninja. Oh. Um, yeah, no, I right. think it's just like I feel like people think it's appealing because they make it appealing like on social media. Like back in the day, we wasn't hearing about like, oh, I got a side piece. Oh, that's my side piece. Like, no. Now it's just like so publicized that people think it's okay. Yeah. I mean, some people are are, are okay with being a side piece because there's no strings attached. Mm -hmm. Right. And they get the benefits of being in a relationship without all of the all of the attachments, right. I guess I said. And some so people like, treat their side pieces better than they make. That's Ooh. true. Some some side pieces be coming up. You ain't got to stick around for the, the bad parts. I say if you a side piece, you should only be there for the good stuff. Because why yeah. do I need to be dealing with this, that, and the this, third? that, stress. No arguing, no nothing. You taking me out, you taking me shopping, you giving me what I want. Just be there for a good time. And boom. Not a long time. Mm -hmm. 
and, and go back to business. I mean, that's why I would think that it would be appealing because you don't have to deal with the all the strings all the that come with being in a committed relationship. relationship. And you could, well, I'm assuming for the most part, you can oh, do you. I will never accept that. Lante said, he said, oh, Johnny said, I want to be a side piece. Johnny, it's plenty <laughs> why? of Why? I really want to know. Piece. It's plenty of people that would make you a side piece, but why do you want to be a side piece? What is so intriguing to you about being a side piece? I think you I might get a booty it. and you ain't got to do nothing. I need to hear Johnny because he be having these over the top <laughs> answers. Um, Lante said, I would never be a two. I'm always main. How do you know that? Because you was just a side piece. Hey. <laughs> oh, you didn't know though, but still. No, he didn't know. He didn't know. But she was married probably, but she was with him. He said he ain't accepting that. She probably just didn't get a divorce. Um, Joey said, because you get the perks, you don't have to, you don't have the responsibility of fulfilling the emotional, financial responsibility. Bingo. You sure about that? Bingo. Some side pieces might get attached. Some side pieces probably be spending that. Um, cash. Joey I mean, I mean, the, the person spending the cash. Um, like they said, I want to be the person to be that person main and take me to five star restaurants. I'm going to all the expensive outlets. You you must be dealing with sugar mamas, cause oh. I don't know. Yeah, I think the appealing part about being a side piece is basically all the perks that you get. Like Joey said, like you're getting all the perks without the strings being attached, no responsibility attached to it. So people are are okay with being the side piece. Are okay flaunting being the side piece. Because they're getting everything they want out of it. Mm, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Lante said, that was against my standards, but I ain't know, though. Females cheat better than men, hands down. Really? I had no clue. Mm. Females cheat know. better than men? I, would, I, don't, I don't know. Nobody who cheats, so I don't know. I don't know. either. I, won't, I don't know. We we'll have to we we'll have to interview a cheater on yeah. the show, a male and a female. You would have, you would have to go any ask. volunteers inbox us you have for to season go three. Ask, I don't know any that cheaters. would be a good that would be a good um show though. Have two cheaters on here <laughs> and tell <laughs> how do you get away with it? Well, they, they must be done cheating. They gotta be done cheating, but they can talk about their past. A lot of times, people talk about their past. Okay, <laughs> they they erase their holiness so now they can talk about yeah. it. Okay, I get Does it. Does holiness get erased? Hey, Dre will say your holiness can get erased. Oh, okay. So once a hole, not always a hole. Mm. It can be erased. Women okay. can cheat for real, for real. He yeah, acting like he know. You know, he's been that. cheating on. Now we're not talking about the married lady. Now she wasn't cheating on you. Let's say said, "Don't women be cheating for real, for real?" Yeah. I just think maybe women are a little bit two steps ahead of all you. Yeah, brains. probably that's two what me and Ed say. Two probably two. I steps think that's ahead. what it is. They just be thinking about they think the step after, after the, the step. step. And guys never think about the step after the step or barely think about the step they're taking. <laughs> they just take the step. Like that, they be walking back. They just take the step and then boom, they landed in it. It's over. Mm-mm. Y'all cheated. All right, mm-hmm. anyways. <laughs> um, Final thoughts, Angie? Final thoughts is, shoot, they just be wanting whatever they want. You get the little piece. Probably get some money and then get taken out on a couple dates bada and then I have to deal with nothing else. Bada bing, bada boom. Only see the, the perks and not the perks. What else comes with that? If your husband said you can you can um, be someone's side piece, would you? No. Why? Why? You, can Why? Have all the, you can have all the perks and still be married and still mm. get all the perks from me. Ain't no way. What if he said, yeah. That man don't want to be intimate. Yeah. And then he, he gonna gonna have have to, do it. No, sir. <laughs> Uh, man. I take a sugar daddy with no Oh, sugar. shoot, Johnny. You acting like you're talking from experience. Men are better cheaters. He, women, women do it, do it easier. Oh, Better cheaters? I feel like statistically... What do you mean women do it easier? I just want to say... You, you're I, trying to say women easy to cheat. Statistically um, showing men are not better cheaters. Men get caught more cheating than women. Where you get those statistics from? Um, I did the project some years ago. Oh. Uh, yeah, I had to do some um, numbers for a project. It was a paper. One of my mm. classes. And you chose that topic? No, it was given to oh, me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's one okay, of those things. Okay. But yeah, men actually um, are not better at cheating. They they get caught cheating more than women. And why is that? Because, like you said, it's stepping backwards. Not thinking about take, take them two steps forward. Oh, that's a whole other story, though. Because mm-hmm. why are you even cheating? Just, like, be single. All right, anyways, moving right along. 
If you're joining us, thank you for joining us. Make sure you share the live, tag your friends, tag your side pieces, <laughs> tag your married women. <laughs> Let me stop. Johnny had a final comment. All right, final comment. He said, men have to impress women more. Women don't have to do much to get a guy who'll sleep with them. So it's not special that a woman can cheat. Hmm. So hmm. it's easy for... I guess... Uh, men have to impress women there's always an exception to that right guys that have uh, I, for women it's called pretty privilege I don't know what you would call it for a man mm -hmm. but um, like guys that are handsome they ain't got the work too hard to get nothing they be having that talk game. yeah they be like, fine. Let me see what he's working with. All right. Anyways, why are marriages lasting? Why are marriages lasting? That should be like, no. Why aren't? Oh, that says aren't. That is supposed to be aren't. I couldn't see. My bad. It's okay. It's okay. That's why we could just edit real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Touch it. Oh, I didn't see. All right. See that? Period. So, All right, so the mm -hmm. topic is why aren't marriages lasting as long as they did during our grandparents' generation? So, why do you think that marriages are not lasting as long? Um, I because I feel like people are getting married for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. So they're not getting married because they truly love someone. They're getting married for other reasons, maybe for like financial reasons. Sometimes, like people, some people look at marriage as a business. They get married for mm -hmm. financial reasons and they feel like they're not compatible and they end up fighting and arguing all the time and then it ends in divorce. Back then, long, long, long time ago, they was marrying because they were in love. You they truly so? loved. I think so. I think a lot of marriages happened back in the day when somebody had a whoopsie and be like, okay, okay we're but they still made it work though. Like this, like people are not willing to like put sacrifice and put in the work to make it work because they're not truly in love though. Whether they had a whoopsie or not, they still genuinely fell in love, I think. Allegedly. Allegedly. Or also, I think another reason is um, the work dynamic has changed. A lot of women didn't work back then, so you couldn't just up and leave your husband because what was you? What were you going to do? You, you couldn't <laughs> take care of care yourself. The house. You couldn't get a job <laughs> that, plays that exactly. was going to be able to help take care of your household. You so you up. had to suck it up. Because you was at home cooking and cleaning there. and cleaning and cooking. And right. Because those, those men wasn't doing nothing less than what these men doing today. They just didn't have social media, cameras, and, smartphones, and, the, and all of that in their business. And honestly, okay. the only difference is women have stepped into the working role, like more into the working role as mm -hmm. opposed to like back then. Right. So, it's a lot of bosses. <laughs> and sometimes men can't handle bosses. That might be, you know, a reason too. You know, men are used to being the breadwinner. You know what I'm saying? So that might play a factor into like some relationships as well and why they're not lasting as long. Ego. Hmm. I think so. I, th I think another um, reason is I think sometimes people, like you said, not necessarily, yeah, they get married for the wrong reasons, but some people get married and don't think past the wedding. They're, yeah. they're not thinking about the ups and downs that's going to come with marriage. And soon as times get hard, you ready for a divorce. Mm -hmm. Well, how? that's why you got to know people through seasons. Because right. if times get hard, you can't just up and be like, I want a divorce. What have you done to try to divorce fix your relationship yeah. and get things to a better place? Divorce mm -hmm. is not just shouldn't be your first solution for nothing. And I think that's everybody's first solution these days. Um, May said social media... Joey said, because we have access to so many people nowadays via social media, something always looks better from the other side of the fence. In addition, women are out in the workforce now partially because of the rising costs and stagnant wages, which is totally true. Um, May said, people have or think they have more options and people are losing sight of, the, of religion, which is what kept people together even after infidelity back in the day. That is true. Johnny, black women have always worked since slavery. It was only during the Great Depression that men had all the jobs and women stayed at home. Education at its finest. 
Yes, mm-hmm. women, black women have had always domestic, worked. always work mostly in domestic um, situations. But do you think that they were going to be able to take care of their family with that, with working that salary? Because it really was going to take them working, and it was going to take their husband to come together and make stuff happen. Joey said, we think we have so many options. We overlook the value in the partner we have shared significant portions of our lives with. And Arthur said, social media out here killing everything since 2020. My grandma never knew a TikTok, X, the book, IG Live, or or divorce. divorce. That's true, though. We're living in a different age. We're living in a different generation where technology has taken over pretty much everything. Hmm. People are just delusional, child. Hey, do you remember back? Did you still watch the Jetsons? Yep. You I'm waiting on my Rosie. Had, I'm still waiting on my Rosie. But you remember year. back? Like, Jetsons, like, literally spoke all this stuff into existence. Back then, they had all that stuff on the Jetsons. Yeah. And now we're just living it out. We still ain't got blind cars. We know? don't have that, but I'm just And saying, I still want my Rosie. Wish yet. It's coming, though, but I'm saying <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Women couldn't initiate divorce Me until the 70s. Jetsons. That's part of it. He said women couldn't initiate divorce until the 70s. So they were stuck, is basically what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. They were stuck like Chuck. <laughs> my grandma divorced my granddaddy like when he was in his 60s, I think. <laughs> well, she was like, I'm tired of you. Bye. Let me stop. <laughs> Bye. He had to pay that alimony. Bye, Ninja. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, final thoughts is my final thoughts is just times have changed and. I feel like women have become more independent and have become more outspoken, um, which plays a factor in in relationships. Final thoughts? Final thoughts is uh, people not taking as much as they used to take. That part. Like, and also not working through problems. I think that's a big chunk of it too. I can't see. I'm sorry. I should have worn my glasses. Oh, why is it so small? It is small. (laughs) Ooh, this is for the fellas. We got fellas. We got a lot of fellas on here. This for y'all. What makes a man commit long term? Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to hear the answer to this. Johnny said he rebuked alimony and child support if the woman initiates the divorce. So she. So wait. So if a woman is in an abusive marriage or something like that, and she initiates a divorce. You don't think the man... I mean, I feel like a man should be at least paying child support. At minimum. depends on how things were set up in your marriage. But definitely child support, you need to pay for your kids. Period. That part. Point blank. But yeah. I'm waiting for the men to answer this. I need to hear this. I want to hear Joey's answer, Johnny's answer, Mm -hmm. Arthur's answer. Lante, you still on Dun- here? Oh, your answer. It was somebody named Dante early. He might be gone. Lante. Dante, I want to hear you your answer. answer. If you still on here, <laughs> man, you come to the forefront right now. Mm-hmm, Johnny, I told right you. That's now. another tally on your name right there, Johnny. Right now. Mm-hmm. Put your answer in the chat. Do you what have do any thoughts? Um, no. I was going to ask you, but <laughs> I think um, maybe something that makes a man commit long term is knowing that he genuinely found his soulmate or genuinely found someone who's going to love him forever. <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> Fuck, <Lou. laughs> Who said that? Somebody said I that. Said it. Somebody else said that. That's a tough question, Johnny said. Did somebody say that last week was putting out F love? I don't know. I don't remember. Somebody said that. That was on the podcast we was on. Oh, oh, oh. I was oh, like, oh, somebody okay. said yeah, that. Somebody I should have tagged them. That. I forgot. Somebody did say that. Yeah. Um, Because we, we still, a woman who deserves him, should that say deserves him? A woman who reveres him. That's a tough question. It's a um, tough question, isn't yeah. it? So for you, Johnny, like answer like what would make you want to commit to a woman long term? It's definitely a tough question, but it's a question that we definitely need answers oh, to. Stop. I'm about to I'm about to do something. Uh, <laughs> it's a question we definitely need answers to. Tough or not. It's 
spit it out. Mm. Don't go quiet on us now, y'all. Why the fuck? Hmm? Never mind. I was trying to figure out what is. Oh, he didn't say reverence. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. They got real quiet, child. I know. I'm waiting for y'all to like spit this answer out. Inquiring minds want to know. I think I should have put this topic on my Facebook. Oh. How that happen? What? I did not do that. Oh. May his comment. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. What? May his the comment like flash on the screen. What'd you push? Don't ask me. I just touched oh. it like that. Oh, 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 oh. Doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all, Angie oh, done learn something new. On Twitter. Angie done learn something new, y'all. Yeah. Me being in love with her. Why is that flag there? Is that a white flag? No, it's not. Like, oh, on my phone. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is. So, um, Dookie said, hey, Dookie, we just talked you up because I tagged you because we forgot. We was talking about you. You said F love on the podcast. Yeah. But, um, who is this up there? Um, he said him being, um, in love with her. Ooh, nice. What, me realizing I'm ready to leave the streets for her. Oh, Okay. Street, what streets you in? Well, I'm trying to figure out what streets he in too. Whole streets, street streets. I guess that's what the street street like. Street, street, it's, it's more than one type of streets. You outside mm-hmm. or you jumped off the porch or <laughs> who decides? Um, it makes strategic sense when he decides. I'm sorry, I can't see. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah, I can see that. Because, I can definitely. Yeah. Um, I can see a man being. Uh, not necessarily saying this woman is the love of my life, but still marrying somebody for, um, like, like for taking care of him and making sure he's good, doing stuff like that, stuff that soothes his soul. It might not necessarily be like, oh my gosh, you're the love of my life. I can't live without you, mm-hmm. but it's that it gives him a sense of comfort. I can see that being something i mean i'm not a man so i don't know right. but yeah joey has a response so i'm gonna read his response you can put it up. um a woman who knows herself first who's kind reassuring ethical supportive honest and loyal feminine someone who can see me that i don't have to hide from who speaks life into me when the world is trying to kill me and god fearing all right uh, that's kind of what i was trying to say joey but you summed it all up Go, joey. <laughs> hey gail <laughs> Once I stop cheating, we go together for real. <laughs> oh my God, real bad, real bad. Okay, y'all. Quick question: question. <laughs> Have you ever stopped cheating? Has there ever been a point in time have you, when you have not cheated? Because if you haven't found one, then I guess um, no. Well, we'll let you happen. think about that. Dell said a business transaction. So, and I said that earlier. Some guys look at it as a business. Remember when I said that? As a business transaction. I mean, they I mean, should look at it as a business transaction. Because nine times out of ten, if divorce does happen, you probably going to be on the losing end of it. So, it might be a good idea to look at it as a business transaction. Right. Um, Arthur said, I mean, the biggest thing for me is a woman to not only tell me, but show me that you are genu- genuinely in love with me and want me. Be equally yoked. I can be me withholding without withholding back, without holding back. Woman can say anything to you if she wants or like what you have. It's a book answer, not a few sentences. LOL. Oh. All right, I got you, and I get where you're going with that. Oh, he said he 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 stopped cheating a few times, but in his twenties, he won. Shit, where you at right now? <laughs> Outside. He's probably somewhere in the middle. Like. Outside. I mean, we did get... I, guys, thank you for your responses. We did get a, a few good responses that we can kind of look at this response and kind of get a gist of where you guys mm-hmm. are mentally and how guys think when it comes to committing long-term. And that's basically what we were actually looking for. So thank you guys for enlightening us on... Uh, on um, I'm surprised nobody said it's the one that get a best got got 3,000. So... No, they don't, don't care about that. that. Some people do. The, I, heard, I get the guys I heard are, them ask the guys... Man, why have you been mad for 30 years? The and guys they, on our podcast are not like that. Oh, they they're are. not yoked like that. Okay. Right, guys? Mm. They're not like that. Oh, shoot. I don't click off. I hate when I do that. 
All right, we're moving on. Final thoughts were the last comments that we gave. You want to move this side after that? Yeah, side after that. We are well, going to... I'm not going to give y'all my sexy voice. The sexy because voice. if I give y'all my sexy voice, y'all going to be trying to jump in my inbox. Not Let me stop. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're going to get ready for side eye after dark. Give me one second. Let me get this topic up. Are y'all ready for Saturday After Dark? Let me see what we talk about. Let's see. Patrick talking about some shh. Shh. What are you saying shit for? Which one we'll do first? That's the wrong word. Ooh, I'm going to start with this one. And we are getting ready for side parts. I ain't doing no sexy work, because I don't need y'all. What oh, can't we? What can't we? I tagged her. I don't know. She probably sleep. We got school in the morning. That's good. We got school in the morning. <laughs> I said Gail. Oh, they said Carrie. No. Let me tag Gary. I tagged him earlier. He didn't get on. All right, let's. No. Because we're gonna be, they're not gonna see us. You wanna turn the audio off? Oh, no, I thought maybe we turn it off. Oh, no, but I was just turning it down. No, because you can't see it. Is the volume on? Right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back, back in a better with our first. Oh wait, side. hold on, we gotta take that comment off. Oh wait, I don't know how to do that. You put it up there. <laughs> the comment. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. Oh, I think I gotta touch that. Oh, okay. it's not going. You gotta give it time. I I, I took this. I took it off. Okay, so work? our first is <laughs> need to start playing some Carl Thomas and some Casey and JoJo in the background. Comment about the god, oh god, definitely got it as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, we're on. well, my opposition. Oh. Huh? Play one of these then. Why All right, so <laughs> what is the oh. favorite besides what is the topic besides the bedroom? Where is your favorite place to have sex? Who besides the bedroom? Well, so when you get in some, let me think. <laughs> Probably. Anywhere that, let me think. <laughs> I have to answer this? Yeah, why not? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I would say like, somebody tell me my office desk chair. <laughs> oh! Johnny oh. said that. You know, I was saying I'm like, my office desk chair. My oh, office desk oh, chair. So you be doing that in office, Johnny? Y'all, you better help me pick that's up. That's slick, slick. I don't know if I have a favorite oh, place. Your, it's got to be somewhere that's know. like like risque, like where we're almost about to get I can't imagine listen, you even going where somewhere and being risque. are almost so, about to get caught. Listen, I'm almost not, about to get caught and then really don't like so like yeah. Okay, what's the riskiest place you ever had? Like that? <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> what's that? Mm. What's the riskiest place? Cuz you you just put it out there that you shower been, I'm just gonna say the shower right now. Bro. Bro. <laughs> you said besides the bedroom. I know, but I don't want to say something the about being risky. So I'm asking you, where's the risky um, place? I'm gonna say it for the end. I'm gonna say if they nah, give me enough. No, nah, no, we ain't let you, me, ain't let you look at <laughs> them around this one. And they where's the riskiest place that you've ever had sex? If somebody else answers, then I'll give my answer at the end. How about that? Because I'm not gonna put my all my um eggs on the table. Johnny said low. So y'all oh, let's go. So Where is the real Johnny making up stuff? First he's talking about his office desk chair. Now why he's talking about why are you dancing around the <laughs> Hold on, Angie. Did you why answer the shit? dancing around the question? Besides we're, the bedroom. We're talking about the you, topic. You answer the question <laughs> first. I've already told these people 
some a situation that no, happened to these me. These are yes. the same people. That's it don't matter if the same people. This is a, we're at, we're, this is a new topic. This ain't got nothing to do with Angie. We talking about Shonda right now. So Shondra. I just can't remember. Shonda Poo. Arthur said Disney. We're at at Disney. All them tourists. <laughs> All those Marissa tourists out like, there, Disney. With come all them on, kids. don't try to change the subject. You got to give us something. You, I will. The I shower will. is not. If we get five more comments, then I will. No, the shower. It says besides the bedroom, where's your yeah, favorite place? Yeah, I know, place? but I asked. My you favorite a place is the shower. No, I asked you a question. I said, "Where's the risk?" Because you said somewhere risky where you're about to get caught. The question you changed. Caught. Bash me because you're scared. The question changed. Right. <laughs> no, it did not. Yeah. It still says the same question no. as we read, Johnny. The question never changed. She won't. Guys, clearly, clearly. she's not going to get Why are y'all putting them eyes? Y'all, because guys, they want to If you want to know, answer. if you want to know, subscribe to my page. I'm about to put a subscription thing on my page. One, subscribe. Two, three, five, five, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to my page and I'll let you know the details because this is not anything for y'all to know. This is like private. So if you want to know, you're going to pay my subscription fee and subscribe. How about that? I'm scared of what? She's scared yeah. of what? It's not about being scared. It's just um, about some things you need to know and some things you don't need to know. Moving on. You don't need an answer. Where's moving your... on. No, I said moving on from I that because you're not going to give us an answer. Because that's not one of our so, topics. So, yeah, but. We, and you quiet. No, Go. we have off topics and we ain't like the day. Off questions all the okay, time. Okay, I but, will answer this question in the subscribers tab. Okay. We're going to have a side eye. My answer is, is, it says, besides the bedroom, where's your favorite place to have sex? Probably would be. No, probably. We um, need the answer. Probably would be <laughs> the living room. On the couch? Of course. Right there where you're I need to get up. <laughs> I need to get up. I need to get up. Because they bad. Uh-uh. <laughs> right there, girl. Mm-hmm. Right and I believe couch. you. <laughs> Why not? I, I believe you. Y'all, right don't be going to right people's there, house. Right there where your bag is sitting. Right Listen, there. Yeah, right there. On the counter. Listen, don't go to people's house because you know they be doing it on their couch. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys be going sitting on their couch. We didn't say that it was something on the couch. I'm just, just saying. Like they be doing it on their couch. Mm-hmm. People be doing it on their couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody, some more answers. I just have two answers. Everybody getting scared. Whew. I'm not. They caught the Shauna bug. Y'all caught the the Shauna bug. (laughs) Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe Mm -hmm. if you want to know. Subscribe, baby. Johnny, the only one on here. Where's Joey? Where's Arthur? Joey and Arthur said you in their business. Um. Okay. Oh, Arthur said Disney. My bad. I still. I'm still waiting to see like where at at Disney. Did you do that? Because I mean, it's like so open unless you went into like a bathroom, but the bathrooms are public bathrooms. So Arthur, him. you have some explaining to do. Maybe he caught a little coma where he could catch him more right quick. Disney? No. You have some explaining to do, Arthur. All right, we're definitely about to move on to our you second side eye right? after dark topic. Final thoughts. I ain't telling y'all nothing else unless y'all subscribe. This is side eye of the dark PG. PG, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what instantly ruins sex for you? People not wanting to say where is the um. How is that ruining? Is- <laughs> how is that ruining your sex? You sit down somewhere. <laughs> the desk chair has a recoil. Like a little spring person. Oh, right on the point. Oh, what the oh, hell? Oh, oh. <laughs> That's Johnny. Johnny got a whole story about why he got that chair. What's your answer? What instantly ruins what? sex? For I would say what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What do you mean? How do you know? Um. Uh, I would say it will ruin. What would ruin sex for me? Yep. If you're not engaged, like you just laying there, laying there like a lump on a a bump log, on a bump on a log, or whatever. Just laying there, just laying up, and then you do like, all the work. Okay, what is going on here? Like laying you do all the work. Do you? Are you? Cause they bad. Enjoying this or not? Because that's not gonna, um, that's not gonna fly with me. Because I'm not yeah. gonna do all the work. Nah. You need to be. Do it like the gym. You gotta be moaning or something. This ain't no workout session, baby. Mm-hmm. You better be doing something. Like, do you prefer doing most of the work, or do you prefer 
doing very minimal work. I am not disclosing my information. Oh, you're not a worker bee? Okay. This is PG. No, no, no. I ain't say <laughs> I am not a starfish, honey. Okay. <laughs> That's a starfish. <laughs> open your legs, open your hands, and lay down. Ah! That's a starfish. Are you for real? Yeah. I've never heard that. <laughs> a pillow princess. Oh, uh, so what is No. So what are you? Mm. An animal. <laughs> Who said an animal? She's an animal. She's a maniac. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you want to know. What is Arthur talking about blowing smoke? Oh, that's turn off when people huffing and puffing? <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know what the smoke means. We're finna we about to start a channel and they're gonna have to sub don't know subscribe what means. to hear the deets. The dirty deets. Not the deets. The dirty deets. You can't say this for the public. Only subscribers. <laughs> okay. Well what 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 are you? You a pillow princess? A star fister? I can be a pillow princess. You can if I want to be. Mm -hmm. Some guys like pillow princesses, some guys don't. It depends. I could be whatever. I could be whatever you want me to be, baby. Why a guy would like a pillow prince? I could be whatever you want me to be. I'm just saying. Too much talking. And dumb. Oh, you don't want to hear nothing she got to say, and then a woman trying to dominate you. I need to try that. It's like I'm about start me. Start me. Try that. That's not even the. Too much talking and. If she got gas, that's what he's dumb. Dominatrix. Oh, Dom talking. dominating. If she got gas, you out. <laughs> so what if you? No, man. <laughs> if she got it's gas, so what if it came all of a sudden? Oh my god, my, look that would be lash. horrible. Got the lights out. Oh, okay. oh I see it's hanging. <laughs> my lash, y'all, my lash Damn, hanging. If she got gas. So yeah, y'all ain't never. I ain't turning the lights off. Do you guys like um pillow princesses? Yeah, they probably don't even know. I'm asking. Is. I'm asking these guys. They, I'm saying they probably. Why wouldn't they know, know what a pillow princess is? They probably never. Do y'all know what a pillow princess is? Let's answer that first. They don't know. Strange, fluid, strange, fluid colors and smells. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Hope you've been messing with strange that. fluid. Strange fluid. So we talking pee, colors, saliva, smells, colors. They trying to say like if they smell. We stop it. Then we stop it. Definitely. All in. Baby, yes. Absolutely. What you gonna say? Get up? <laughs> okay. Sorry, my stomach hurt. I don't wanna <laughs> smell nothing. Yeah, my stomach hurt. I'm sorry. No. I suddenly fell sick. <laughs> and then strange. Food. So would you tell them or would you just get up? Ugh. Arthur, Johnny. It looked like some of our guys, some of our guys disappeared. Guys are just and started ass your up. Vaginal color. discharge weird colors. Okay, oh. that is definitely um a, a ruin, a ruin. Oh, vaginal dis what color? Hmm, sounds like they need to be going to the clinic. Right. Uh, Johnny says he's gonna pull out, clean up, and walk off. <laughs> you ain't saying why you. Yeah, it depends on what it is. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, I am dead. A Arthur, that is not what a pillow princess is. What is what he said? A pillow was? princess. He said, face down in the pillow and ass up. That a is definitely not a pillow, a pillow princess, princess. Is just basically a woman that lays there and lets you do all the work. Okay. Work, 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 work. Yeah. Get to work. Put in work. That's why I said. Do men like that? Do men like that? That sounds so freaking boring. I want to know. Y'all answer that. That's like a passenger princess. <laughs> I can be a passenger princess. Me too. Just not a pillow princess. So you've never been a pillow princess in your life? You've never been like, oh, let me just lay here and let him take it? Yes. I'm talking about, we're talking about. I don't care. A, I, this, we're talking about something I on tend a consistent to do, basis. I tend to do all the work. All the work, Johnny? Johnny, you all strike me as that type. All <laughs> the work. It's because you don't say. like those. You don't like those. Nobody taking those. There's some guys that are like that, though. I don't know. Sounds pretty boring wanna, to me. But they wouldn't be in charge. Like I said, sounds pretty boring to me, guys. I don't know. Y'all, final thoughts. Final, final thoughts. thoughts is final thoughts. Smells. 
Spells, colors, colors, odors, discharges, discharge, farts, <laughs> gas. Oh my bad, gas. Those are all the final thoughts. Pillow princes. They didn't say that. You said I that. Said it. Oh. Um, and I think that was it, right? And that what did you one. say? What was your response? What ruined sex for you? Smells. Smells? Mm -hmm. You should have already knew if it was going to be smells before you I'm just even saying. got to that point. Definitely, but that would ruin it for me. Yeah. Mm. What smells would he have? Like oh, musty no, balls just or something? Musty balls. <laughs> 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 Musty balls. What if a guy just what if a guy just whispered in your ear and his belts were like hot, hot butt? He's like, hey girl, what's your name is? Well, I mean, Ooh. that wasn't even to the point. Of no, I know. I'm just saying. Like, like, anyway, so. I'm just saying. What would you do though? <laughs> If it like, don't boy, fit, you don't get your <laughs> <so quick. laughs> you don't get your fire dragon breathing. Um, all right, let's see. Girls be liking musty balls. You know, Who I said that. I know. I've heard that. I've heard that a friend of mine told me that um, her a guy she was seeing. He said that his ex girlfriend would love when he came from the gym Ew. and she would get him got got three thousand no. after he gained came from the you, gym. You she, and your musty balls. And she would be upset if he washed his musty balls. No, you and your and musty said, balls will be getting that shower. That's sorry. Is a weird ass that is not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Keep the musty balls here. <laughs> That's weird. Mm. Girls be like, mm -mm, no way. So guys, uh there was something like that's what, Ew, well, to give it. that's what I just said, John. How you know? You that's have musty balls? I mean, go run, run outside in the hot sun or go to the gym. Them balls gonna be musty. They got ball deodorant? They do. They do have deodorants that you I can need to use get that ball deodorant. Guys. <laughs> yep, that was some girls I know after I played <clears throat> basketball. That is so... Jim Huff. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fell. Nah. I wouldn't even. I'd be like, girl, let me go shower. What are you doing? Like, what are you trying to do? Like, get all the sweat. I'm like, ooh, no, <laughs> guys. Thank you guys for joining us for our <laughs> season finale. We appreciate everybody that tuned in. If you miss any part of the show, you can go back and watch it on our Facebook Live. You can also go watch it on YouTube. Um, we are ready for season three, which is starting in mid September. Virtual season. season. Three. It will be Angie's birthday season, y'all. Yeah. Might do something special for her. What you gonna do for my birthday? What you gonna do for my birthday? Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Side Eye Chats. I'm Shauna, and this is Angie, and we are out. Peace. Bye. Good job, bro. <laughs> <laughs>